everyone welcome back to the channel I'm coming to you guys today with some really important messages that have been coming through over the past few weeks and I'm finally being called to talk about it the first it's gonna be split into two parts um, the first is for those of you who are on the sacred union path to ascension um, with regards to energy protection the second is going to be talking about the divine masculine divine feminine energies and your sacred union um, so stay tuned to both parts um, and it's all going to be in this video so, so hang in there with me. The first part of this is all about energy protection especially for those of you within my collective who are coming into sacred union with another person. Could be within yourself as well but with another person. It's really important right now to protect your energy. That is of the utmost of importance. This planet as a whole is going through ascension. There's a great awakening that is happening. It has been happening, um, but that has been accelerated over the past six months. And we are seeing that the planet as a whole is purging. You guys can check out the channel messages that I do. Check out my Facebook and Instagram platforms. Um, I'll put a, post a link to the uh, Lightworker messages that I've channeled um, over the past few months about the global ascension that is happening. You can also check out my ascension um energy updates. Um, we talk about sacred union within that as well. Don't miss any of the videos because for those of you who are watching this, you're for the most part on the sacred union path to ascension. Everybody is going through this ascension, but the collective that I read for are part of that sacred union, either with another person, within yourself. So, so have faith in that. Um, but energy protection is vital at this point, especially because there is so much chaos and conflict that is being shown to us in our external world, but it's being shown to us because of this great awakening, because the planet as a whole is going through ascension. And with that, you, you have experienced this as well within your own individual experience. You have experienced the purging, you've experienced the clearing. Now that is happening on a global scale. It's been happening, but now it's accelerated for the entire collective, for the planet as a whole. And because you have been on this journey, you now have the tools to hold that balance, to hold that light, to hold that high vibration. And that is necessary for you as guides, as light workers, as way showers, to hold that vibration so the planet as a whole can go through that ascension process as well. That is what is needed. That is what is necessary at this time. And so you have to, have to, have to protect your own energy field. Now, I want to share with you guys something that happened to me um, recently that showed me how important and vital this is. With the work that I do, I'm always protecting my energy. I protect my energy from the start when I get up. I do a quick invocation. I protect my energy every time I do a, either collective reading or a client reading. I clear my energy. I'm constantly clearing my energy. Um, I have a dear friend who helps me out uh, basically monthly now with energy clearings because I can't do it all by myself. With this, it's so important to understand that there is, I don't want to say a battle, but essentially a battle between the higher vibration and the lower vibration, between the light and the dark is what I guess you could call it, between the shadows and the light. Um, and what is happening is those lower vibration, that dense 3D energy tries to draw in and what I'm hearing is suction in that high vibrational energy to hold on to it. But we are ascending, we are moving beyond that. And when you maintain that high vibration, you are out of the energy where anybody can take your power or claim your sovereignty or draw on your energy but you have to maintain that balance within you by clearing your chakras by balancing within yourself by maintaining that peace and high vibration within yourself I spent um, I've been spending a lot of time with my divine masculine lately and um, I slept over at his house last week and I think this happened and I woke up in the middle of the night and it felt like there was just this dense heavy, dark energy in the room. It wasn't coming from my Divine Masculine. It wasn't coming from me. It was just there. And it was very dense. It was very heavy. It was almost suffocating. 
and I recognized it immediately. And immediately I called in support. I called in my archangels to all four corners of the room. Michael was there with his sword cutting through that thickness, cutting through that heaviness. Um, I had my dragon was there purging and releasing and clearing more of that heavy, dense, dark energy that was trying to infiltrate. And Mother Mary was there as well, bringing calm and peace and compassion and a feeling of safety to us both. And when I called in that protection, it was like the room began to lighten and the room, the energy in the room began to clear. You and your divine counterpart, your love is so powerful. It goes beyond the relationship. It goes beyond the 3D. Your love is so incredibly powerful. It lights worlds. It creates worlds. It is so expansive. And the darkness, I don't know what else to call it, the shadow side, the darkness, it's not the shadow side of yourself, it's, it's the darkness. It's the heavy energies that tries to drain, that tries to hold you down, that tries to keep you from ascending, keep you from remembering the truth of who you are, which is soul, which is connected to God, which is connected to all. It tries to keep you in a lower vibration, tries to keep you in a lower level of consciousness. But you are ascending beyond that. But this darkness tries to drown out the light. It can't do that anymore. Especially as you're coming into the sacred union. Especially as you're remembering the love for each other. Especially as you're remembering love within yourself and what unconditional love truly is. Especially as you're ascending into higher consciousness and remembering that you are love. That you are not separate from love. That you are not separate from all living beings. I just posted this. I was called... Um, to channel this message and write this on Instagram and Facebook recently, that in this time of ascension, of global ascension, global awakening, we're seeing almost like the conflict and the chaos is where the seeds of division are sown. But it's also showing us where we are united and how there truly is no separation. Separation is an illusion. Separation is our previous level of consciousness. Separation is our previous perception. There is no separation between you and me and the other. There is no other. It is us as one. We are having individual human experiences for our own soul growth evolution. But we are also expanding as one because we all come from that same source energy. What they had once said to me was, Spirit had once said to me was, we are all individual threads in the same tapestry and that tapestry is source energy and how beautiful is that how amazing is that that we can have these individual human experiences while still being connected to each other while still being so part of each other part of the same collective part of the same energy having slimmer similar vibrations we are all one we truly are all one. And so energy protection is really vital at this time. Um, and so chakra clearings, make sure that your chakras are aligned and balanced. Make sure that you're clearing out any of that soul sludge, any of the energy. If you're still working through lower vibrational energy, such as anger or resentment or lack mindset, allow yourself to transform, allow yourself to change, allow yourself to shift. Um, there are a number of tools that you can use for protection as well. You can get healings, energy protections. Make sure that you are using your own discernment and following your intuition as far as who you go to for those healings and for those clearings. You can do clearings on your own. Um, as far as meditation, I always I say um, some variation of this. I release all energy that doesn't belong to me and call back all energy that does times three and so it is. Um, I do meditations wherein I invoke the white light of the Holy Spirit. I imagine white light uh, pouring down through me, through my chakras, grounding into the earth, coming back up into my heart chakra and expanding, encasing me in a bubble of white light so that love can permeate, but nothing else can. Nothing of a lower vibration can permeate. 
I call upon my archangels. I call about upon my spirit team, uh, my ascended masters, my galactic council. Um, especially in dire times, I call upon my dragon for extra support and protection. Um, there are a number of visuals that you can do as well. Remember, it's all about the intent. Um, every time I do a reading, you guys might see the black candles that I use. I use that as an invocation of protection. Um, I also have a number of gemstones that I keep around me um, to use as protection as well. Um, protection and support. It's all about the intention. It's all about the vibration that you hold. And maintaining that steadfastness, maintaining that energy of knowing your truth, knowing your light, and not letting anything hold you back. It's very easy to get caught up in the chaos and the conflict and the drama, but it's so important to remain neutral. That doesn't mean that you don't have feelings. It doesn't mean that you don't have emotions. It doesn't mean that you don't feel what you feel around certain situations, but it's about taking a step back, not getting drawn into the drama and the conflict and the chaos, not getting drawn into the division, not getting drawn into the taking sides, not getting drawn into any of that lower vibrational energy or behavior. You take a step back and look at it from a higher perspective, from the soul's perspective. That is the tool that you have now because you are ascending beyond the 3D. The 3D, what they like to call the physical plane now, um, is the illusion. It's the matrix. And if you keep getting drawn back into it, you just get keep getting caught up in a same old loop in that matrix, in that, that hologram really. And you're ascending beyond it. You're seeing past the illusions. And so you have to protect your energy so that you don't get drawn in and have that awareness. That's what it's all about. It's about your level of consciousness. It's about your level of awareness. Don't let your ego get yourself drawn into any conflict or chaos or drama. Take a step back. Follow your heart. Follow your intuition. It's very easy to get caught up in drama and conflict and chaos. It's very easy to get caught up in illusion. And if you do, it's okay. Don't be hard on yourself. Just bring yourself back to that level of awareness and understanding and level of consciousness, that higher level of consciousness, and say, what is this teaching me? What is this experience? What do I feel is the truth? What is my own intuition telling me? Follow the heart. Follow the intuition. Follow that higher perspective because that is what we are doing. We are ascending, and ascending means going to a higher playing field, going to a higher level of perspective, going to a higher vibration. And it's important now more than ever to maintain that high vibration. Okay, so your energy, protecting your energy is so important right now because especially as you come into sacred union with your counterpart, there's going to be drama and conflict and tests popping up obstacles obstacles popping up but that is just what i like to call interference that is just some lower vibrational low density energy that is cropping up trying to pull you back down into that but again you have the tools so utilize those tools and most importantly utilize your truth of what you feel within your heart space don't get drawn into that energy it's very easy to get drawn into that energy don't get drawn into that energy take your time Take a step back. Take a moment to look at it from all angles, from that higher perspective, and see the truth. And then you can move forward from your intuition. Take action. It's not about passivity. Surrender is not about passivity. Surrender is not about not taking action. Surrender is about saying, okay, I'm non-reactive. I'm going to take a step back, and I am going to look at it from another perspective and see where my intuition is guiding me, taking action from where my intuition is guiding me because your intuition is truth. Your intuition is your soul speaking to you. It's the ego that likes to get caught up in all the drama and all the chaos and all the conflict because it doesn't know better. The ego tries to protect, but it's protecting you from an old paradigm. It's protecting you from that third dimensional lower vibrational energy. Your soul is that higher vibration. And so it's really important to listen to the soul as it is speaking to you rather than the ego and so protecting your energy is really important at this time okay I'm gonna try to articulate this as best as I can 
for those of you who are coming into Sacred Union with your counterpart, it's really important to understand that Sacred Union happens within yourself first. You hold both energies within you. You hold both a masculine and a feminine energy within you. You might be a predominant energy, which is how you, um, what, what energy you embody. For example, I'm a divine feminine energy. My counterpart is divine masculine energy, but I have masculine energy within me as well. And for a very long time, I was in a masculine energy, especially when I was going through my illness, the experience of my illness and survival mode, I was in that masculine energy. And it was a distorted version of that but it was a masculine energy. Your feminine energy is, okay, let me put this this way. Your, the masculine energy within you is your divine masculine's energy, your counterpart's energy. The feminine energy within them is you divine feminine. That is how you are one, that is how you are whole. You're whole within yourself because you have both energies within you. It's just embodied as well in another person. And they come into wholeness within themselves, and that's when you come into sacred union. But it happens within yourself first. That's what inner union is all about. We had been in the process of inner union, and I didn't fully understand that. I had been feeling that, but I didn't fully understand that until a few weeks ago when I was spending a lot of time with my divine masculine, and really feeling balanced within myself despite everything that was going on in the external world. I really felt this, and I want to point you guys to, um, I don't know her last name, Erica Elma, I believe her name is. Um, she has a, a big channel here, um, and she actually helped me a lot on my journey. She kind of was a mentor on my journey with her videos. Um, and I stopped watching all readings, I really stopped watching all videos, um, but she popped up in my feed this one video that really helped me to articulate what I'm about to say um, because I was experiencing this and I shared it with a couple of clients but I didn't know how to fully articulate this until now the experience that I had my connection with my divine masculine has completely transformed in a beautiful magical way um, it had been going in that direction where it felt like we were coming into this union and then and this new phase this new cycle and then it would like it would be like we retreated again it would be like we were repeating the old um as far as we would open up to each other and then get knocked down into illusion and fear and i was in a place of oh my gosh are we repeating the same cycle oh my gosh you know you know is he rejecting me again is he gonna abandon me is he going to are we going to get together and then spend two weeks apart again and it was, it was a cycle that had been repeating and repeating and repeating. And what changed happened within me first. And then I saw that reflecting in my connection. What happened was any place where I felt fear of rejection, any place where I felt fear of abandonment, I brought that to my awareness, recognized it, and decided to change the pattern. For example, if my Divine Masculine and I were getting into an argument, we don't really fight. Um, we're both passionate people, <laughs> so it sounds like we're fighting, um, but we would get into an argument. And it had been my pattern that if the energy didn't feel good, then I would remove myself from the situation, which is healthy, which is what you're meant to do. Um, if it doesn't feel good, you know, you don't have to stay in that energy. Um, but I was taking it to an extreme where I was actually leaving, running, leaving it unresolved when we were in the middle of an argument, walking away. And there, there were a couple of instances, situations, we were in the middle of an argument and I got up to walk away and I caught myself, was aware of this pattern, recognized it and said, stay. My intuition said, stay, stay here, resolve this. And we kept talking through it. We kept working through it. He was recognizing the anger that was coming up inside of him. I was recognizing my pattern of leaving and running. And we would, we would always resolve it, you know, within a day's time or so, you know, at a later time. But in the moment, we recognized our patterns and came to resolution, came to forgiveness 
a calm energy took over both of us. We reached a place of harmony and balance, energetically. Before our words were ever spoken, it was like the tension dissipated by us changing the patterns and changing our energy. And that changed the energy within the connection. Okay, so that's number one, is recognizing your patterns and acknowledging them and bringing that to your awareness and changing the patterns within yourself. It's not always up to the other person to change the patterns, it's also up to you. You upholding your boundaries, you recognizing yourself, you recognizing your patterns and bringing that to your awareness. The second thing is, how do I say this? I know on this sacred union journey, we talk a lot about the divine masculine, needing to take the lead, needing to take charge. Over the past few months, what I've been recognizing and talking about in my readings, it's been coming forth in the Ascension updates and in the Sacred Union updates. Um, my readings are timeless, you guys. Do make sure that you go back through the playlist and listen or watch any reading that calls to you because that means that there's a message there for you. I sometimes channel ahead of where the collective is, so always you know, feel free to go back and take a look at the readings. Over the past few months, I have been really called to follow my intuition and take action, even when I didn't want to. I would say this started back in the summer, or back in the fall, when, um, I think I shared this in, in one of the readings as well, where, you know, I was just fed up. I didn't want to take action anymore. I didn't want to, you know, keep trying to, I, I kept getting called to, we were in separation for two months, I kept getting called to either send him a voice message or write him a message or a letter or to even show up at his house. They had me show up at his house and actually see him. Uh, Spirit did. And um, I remember there was one time where we had kind of arranged to meet at the movies and um, I thought he didn't show up. And so I was going back to my house and Spirit said, nope bypass your road and go towards his house. And I'm like, I'm not going, I'm not going to his house. I'm not going to his house. And I did, I listened to spirit and I was halfway down the road and I got a message from him that he was waiting for me at the movie theater. Um, it was my inner masculine that needed to take the lead, that needed to take charge. And I had been in such a place of resistance of, I'm so tired of taking the lead. I'm so tired of taking charge. I'm so tired of being the one to always reach out. But the more I reached out, the more that was reciprocated. The more I actually took the lead, the more he began to take the lead. And that became very clear to me a few weeks ago when I expressed myself to him. I shared with him my feelings, um, especially how I felt about, you know, not wanting to hold myself back. I'm a very affectionate person. I'm a very emotional person, an expressive person, and I didn't want to hold myself back. This was nothing I hadn't shared with him before. I had shared this with my Divine Masculine a thousand times over the course of the past few years. But remember, you're both going through this process of transformation. And so you're going through different cycles and each version of yourself will be different. So with me expressing this again, it created, it opened up our connection because I wasn't coming from a place of expectation. I wasn't coming from a place of, I'm expressing myself so that you do this. I was coming from a place of an open heart, letting the past be in the past, forgiving the past, and choosing to start a new cycle. Saying, by me expressing this, However we go forward, we go forward. I'm just going to appreciate what we have here and now and express that appreciation and express my desires and express what it is that I want, but I am anchored into the here and now, accepting this moment, accepting our connection, accepting where we are, and appreciating all of it, appreciating where this journey has brought us, where this journey is leading us, how it's unfolding, but being anchored into the here and now. And by my speaking up and expressing myself with that open heart, completely open heart, I was terrified. 
You know, I was, of course, afraid that I was going to be rejected again, like I had been in the past. But I pushed through that fear, recognized that as fear, recognized that as a pattern that had been playing out. And I chose differently. I didn't want to hold myself back anymore. I chose differently. I chose not to hold myself back, but to fully express myself. And again, it wasn't anything that I hadn't expressed myself about before it previously. I'd expressed all of this, but we were both at different parts in our journey, both at different stages in our life. We had both transformed into higher vibration, higher versions of ourselves. And so me expressing myself this time now was a higher expression of myself because I had more of an open heart. There wasn't that pressure. There wasn't that tension. There wasn't that expectation of what comes next. It was just pure appreciation and pure expression of my open heart. And that was my masculine energy. That was taking the lead in expressing myself. It was the inner union. It was the balance of the masculine energy of taking the lead and being open and the feminine energy of expression and just allowing it to flow. That was the inner union. And what happened was it was like that unlocked our entire connection and allowed us both to breathe, allowed us both to move forward in our connection in a beautiful, magical way, allowed us both to express ourselves and be open and take our connection to a higher level. It allowed us to both be balanced within ourselves. And so I know on this journey, we really, really want the Divine Masculine to come forward, especially in the physical, especially when it comes to relationship. But we have to understand that first and foremost, this is about our soul growth. This is about our own expansion. This is about our own inner union, about balancing out those energies, about shifting to a higher level of consciousness, shifting to a higher vibration, not allowing the same patterns to repeat so that we get caught in the karmic loop. Again, not allowing the drama and the conflict and the chaos of the external to interfere with what's going on inside of us. And so when you're putting all the focus on the Divine Masculine has to call me or he has to text me or he has to visit me or he has to reach out first, when you're putting all that focus on somebody else, you're just creating pressure. And what they're actually saying is you're creating a vacuum, a container that feels like it's like you can't breathe. It feels like you're suffocating. It feels like you're creating this cage around your connection because it's like you're blocking off the flow of love within your heart because you're blocking off the flow of energies within yourself. You're blocking off the flow of masculine and feminine energies within yourself because you're putting the focus on somebody else. And I know, I know Divine Feminines that we feel like we have been taking the lead. We feel like we've been doing all the work. But then again, you're creating separation. You're looking outside of yourself at the other person. You're saying, well, they're not, they're not doing the work. They're not putting in the effort. They're not coming forward. It's important to recognize if you're really in a sacred partnership that that person is not separate from yourself. And if you're still viewing them as, well, they're not doing this or not doing that, then you're still viewing them as separate. If you're doing the work and you're going through a transformation, so are they. If you're committing and investing in yourself, and in your connection, so are they. They might not be displaying it as you expect them to or even as you want them to, but that's where you have to have patience. That's where you have to hold that space. That's where you have to have that unconditional love because it is manifested within first. You feel that union. You feel that peace. You feel that love within first, and then it's experienced in your outside world. They're going through a transformation as well. Divine Feminines, you take the lead. You are the leader. You lead from that place of higher perspective. You lead from that place of higher consciousness. Divine Masculine is rising into that energy. You have to believe in that. You have to have faith. If you believe in yourself, you're believing in your Divine Masculine. If you believe in your Divine Masculine, you're believing in yourself. There is no separation. We say all the time that, you know, we are the universe. That message has been coming through very strongly in my readings. We are the universe. The universe is not outside of ourselves. Well, neither is your sacred partner. That is the Trinity energy. 
divine masculine, divine feminine merging to create this sacred union. But it happens within yourself first. So don't deny that part of yourself. Don't deny the masculine part of yourself. If you're resisting reaching out, always follow your intuition. I want to say that first as a caveat. That's, that comes across in all of my client readings, all of my uh, collective readings. Always listen to your intuition. If you're reaching out from a place of ego, if you're reaching out from a place of resentment, if you're reaching out from a place of anger, that's ego. That's not an open heart. You have to follow your intuition. If you're feeling an overwhelming sense of love, if you're feeling an overwhelming sense of, you know, I feel like I need to express myself to my divine masculine, but I'm afraid that he's going to reject me. I'm afraid that he's not going to answer. Unconditional love is for yourself, first and foremost, is being willing to express yourself regardless of what anybody else's opinion is. Don't be afraid of rejection. Don't be afraid of your divine masculine's you know, reaction, because that's just placing expectations and that's not ex that's not unconditional love, that's just conditions. You love yourself first, so you express yourself. Don't create the resistance of, you know, well, he's not reaching out, so I shouldn't reach out. Because then you're just resisting the masculine energy within you that wants to take the lead, that wants to take action. So when you reach out to your divine masculine, for example, if you're called to, if you're, you know, your intuition is calling you to, if you reach out, guess what? That's your divine masculine energy within you taking action, balanced with divine feminine energy of self-expression. But then you have to let go of the control. Then you have to allow it to flow, allow it to unfold, allow that receptivity. That's divine feminine energy. But don't deny your masculine energy within you. Because then you're just denying your divine masculine energy. And they feel that. They feel that energetically. And the more you come into that inner union, the more they're going to rise into their inner union, their sacred self. Recognize the balance within their masculine and feminine energies, their divinity, their divine essence. And that is going to bring more harmony and peace to your connection. It's amazing. My Divine Masculine and I, even though we're still triggering each other, it's different. It's a different energy. We've entered a different cycle. There is much more harmony there. There's much more trust there. There's much more of an understanding there because we are on the same vibration. We're on the same frequency. We're on the same level. Understanding each other, even without the words. It's all about the intention. It's all about the vibration. And the words follow that. The words matter. Communication matters for any relationship. But it is the feeling first, the heart resonance first. Because that is the energy within you. So don't resist the masculine energy within you because that's just creating resistance within your actual physical connection. And again, I want to bring it back. I know that, you know, it's very hard when you're looking at the 3D. When you're looking at, well, he hasn't contacted me in months, weeks, months, years, when you're looking at, he said X, Y, Z. I understand that. I have such compassion for that. But understand too that there are transformations and awakenings and ascensions that are taking place, that you are evolving, you are growing, you are expanding, and so too is your divine counterpart. And so it's really important to keep going within and trusting where you're being led. And don't let your ego really discern between the intuition and the ego. Don't let your ego hold you back because then you're just creating resistance within your own energies within you. Because again, you hold both. You hold masculine and feminine energies within you. And don't let the 3D hold you back either because the 3D, that physical environment, is the dense energy, that darkness that keeps trying to draw you into that lower vibration. Trust in your heart space. Trust in the balance within Trust in what your soul is telling you and how it's guiding you. Always go within and trust that gut instinct. Don't doubt. Don't second guess it. That is where you take action for yourself. That's your masculine energy within you. And you express yourself. But you also need to release that control. Release the expectation. And just allow it to unfold. Because I promise you, when you release 
the resistance, when you release the control, that is how your whole journey, your whole life, not just your connection, but your entire life unfolds in a natural way. We just create our own blocks. We just create our own obstacles. We just create create our own resistance. Surrender is about coming into inner union, inner balance, trusting in ourselves, trusting in the divine, God, source, universe, whatever it is that you want to call it, trusting that you are not separate from that higher power. That is how you co-create with the universe because you are the universe. And as such, you're not separate from your divine counterpart. And it's really important to not only come to that intellectual understanding and awareness, but to feel that within you, that you are not separate from your counterpart. We say it all the time, but feeling it and integrating that energy is really different. And that's when you come into inner union by realizing that you're not separate from the masculine energy within you, which is embodied in your divine masculine's other physical vessel outside in, in another person. But it's within you first. There is no separation. Okay. Whew. I hope I articulated that well. I might come back in future readings um, to articulate that even more. I have been experiencing that with my own personal connection over the past few weeks. And so I wanted to share that revelation, that epiphany, that breakthrough, that teaching with you guys. Um, because it feels really important, especially understanding how there is no separation. That is what truly transforms the connection really understanding the masculine and feminine energies within you and that that's part of your wholeness. That's part of you being a sovereign divine being is being willing to take the lead and take action. That's your masculine energy within you and that will be reflected in your counterpart in your physical environment. It will be. But come into wholeness first and most importantly, trust in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Trust in your journey and follow where your own intuition is leading you. The greatest lesson you will ever learn on this journey is to follow your heart, trust in your intuition, trust in what your soul is saying to you. That's the only thing that you need for your life is to trust in yourself. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it for now. I'm going to go on and do a sacred union energy update. I'll have that uploaded tonight. Um, yeah. Yeah will possibly come back and re-articulate this. I've been trying to find a way to understand this. Um, like I said, you know, check out the link below. Erica said it in a beautiful way. And she helped me understand really what was happening, what I was actually experiencing within my connection, where I knew what was happening, but I didn't know how to articulate it. She articulated it in a beautiful, beautiful way. So do check that out as a follow-up to this video. And protect your energy. Protect your energy. Really important. That doesn't mean that you're not giving love. It doesn't mean that you're not connecting with others. It just means that you are not giving your energy to anything of a lower vibration because you are beyond that. You're protecting your energy so that you can maintain that high vibration and that higher level of consciousness and that energy of love, which is so important at this time because that is not only what helps you, not only what helps your connection, but it's what helps the world as a whole. So really important as well. Um, if you want more of these messages, um, we have a whole playlist of channeled messages, channeled readings. Um, you can check that out. And I am working on a series. I promise it will come soon, as soon as possible, um, of uh, messages about what is Sacred Union, what are Twin Flames, what is your mission here. It's much more than our physical experience, our human experience. Human experience is a part of it. But your love is so powerful. Your love lights worlds. Your love creates universes. When you come together, you're so powerful as this divine couple. Um, but it's all about within first. You experience that within first. You experience that sovereignty, that divinity within first. And then you manifest that in your connection. And when you come together, you just light up. You just light up. Um, and... That's where the protection needs to come in. That's where you have to keep clearing, keep doing the chakra clearings, keep doing the healing work, um, keep staying in that high vibration and holding the light um, because now is a pivotal time in our journeys, a pivotal time for ascension, a pivotal time for these sacred unions. Um, so it's really important to protect your energy. All right, you guys. Um, <laughs> 
feel like I rambled, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, spirit moves through me. So whatever was meant to come across, it came across and I'll continue to articulate this, um, in energy updates going forward. I am going to end here. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and I will see you soon.